I'm not looking forward to the leap of faith from here. Okay, um... He's a braver man than I. That was a mistake. <laughs> Synchronize! Heights. <laughs> Not sure this is a great game for me to be playing. Oh well. Whee! Right. An extension of Il Domo. I think that's Il Domo. Oh, so ah, I see. So it's stand. It's when it's stand. When it's normal, your um. This is Il Domo, because I'm guessing we probably would have got them for it. Back. Database. Locations. Santa Maria del Fiore. Does it tell you which ones, if any, are new? I don't know. No. Oh, right. This is new then. Santa Maria del Fiore. One of Italy's largest churches and the largest landmark in Florence. Santa Maria del Fiore is considered by many to be the first masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. Although the church was designed by Arnolfo di Cambio in 1296, the dome was not started until the beginning of the 15th century. With Cambio long dead, none of the architects at that time had any idea how to construct such, a, an, such an enormous structure since the use of buttresses was forbidden in Florence and mortar took several days to set. But all was not lost. In an amazing comeback story, Filippo Benes Brun Brunel Brunelschi, not sure that's correct, um, an architect who had been defeated in an earlier bid to design the baptistry doors, won the competition to build the dome. He beat out Lorenzo Ghiberti, the same artist he had lost to before. Brunelschi invented machines to hoist the bricks needed for the dome up to the workers and was able to construct the entire dome without using centering, a support structure to hold the dome in place while bricks were laid. Containing over 4 million bricks, the dome was completed in 1436. The lantern was added after Brunelschi's death in 1446 and supposedly contains holy relics. However, there were several rumours that, in fact, an entire tomb of unknown origin is located inside. Ooh. I think there's like Assassin's Tombs or something, so I'm guessing it might be relevant. <gasps> Duccio! It's a beautiful! Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. My father said I could do much better than an auditore. Oh, really? Ah! Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. Walk? I had something else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Hey, Lurido Porco. Ezio, my friend. Ah, ma che te piglia? You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. Right. You auditore is all talk big. But when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great bit. She's lucky to have had someone like me. I'm doing this. Are you gonna get up? Or do I have to or do I get to completely punch you? Well, no kick you because you were down. That's what I meant to say. I think they're on my side. Wonderful. It's good to have an appreciative crowd. Stay away from my sister. Yeah. Beat up episodes. Hmm. Yes, more side quests. I'm sure people are happy for me to have a load of side quests. Oh, oh flipping heck. Oops. Let us run. Away. 
That didn't work. Keep running. Yay, platforming! It's not really platforming because I've got no control whatsoever exactly where he goes. Aha! They'll never know I'm here. Actually, they won't because they've completely lost me. So, it would make sense for them to think that I've run on. I think they've lost me. Right, where am I trying to get to? Map. Ah! I meant to do that all along. And if you believe that, you'll believe that I play games quickly. Um. Lance Merchants. Yeah. It's probably like, oh, this is what you buy here. So I'm not going to look at everything, I don't think. Just the interesting history stuff. All the stuff that I think is interesting history stuff. Ooh, Maria Auditore. Like this. Maria Auditore, date of birth, 1432, profession, writer slash noble. I grow tired of these walls that surround me and am bored with safety. Now is the time to make a decision. I will go out there and see what my life may truly be. Maria wrote those words when she was 16, a week before she met Giovanni Auditore. Born into the powerful banking family, the Mozzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the time period due to her multi-volume diary, which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on the display in the Uffizi, Uffizi Gallery in Flor Florence, Florence, Florence. With funding from her parents, Maria opened up a bakery in the courtyard of her family palazzo, which she transformed into an artistic gathering place. It was there she met a man with such conviction I found, I found myself rooted to the spot, unable to look anywhere else. That man was Giov Giovanni Auditore. Maria and Giovanni were married in 1450. Maria's diary entries continue for the next few decades, describing her patronage of several up-and-coming artists and her trials as a mother, at which point she abruptly abandons her writing, to the disappointment of historians everywhere. That doesn't sound good, and it doesn't give a date. Bad things are gonna happen! And we become an assassin, I assume. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Escort mission! Friend of the family, help Maria with her errand. Alright. I wonder who we're gonna meet. You have health. I know about your fight with Vieri. We're so gonna get in trouble, aren't we? What fight? <laughs> per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. Hmm. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. I doubt that. It is an unfortunate state of affairs. But it will pass. This is one thing I like about the controller over the keyboard, is I can control his speed. Very slowly, 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 slowly speeding up. Full speed, yeah. Whereas on the keyboard, it's kind of like, I'm walking! I'm not walking. And that's it. The Bottega di Leonardo a Firenze. Here we are. Alright, wonderful. Le Leonardo? Leonardo! Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. Paintings. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? 
Kesin. Evet. So it's you. What do you do? He's been working for his father. <gasps> Leonardo da Vinci. To be a banker. I thought so. For now. And you? Are was it? Truth oh, you're following it's me. Difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, and more anatomy. <laughs> I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo, I have no doubt you'll go. Oh, are you following me? Oh, you are following me. Mi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. I hope no one attacks us now. So yes, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, be interesting to see what, if anything, they do with him. Because if it's just kind of like, oh look, it's Leonardo, hey, and then drop it, I'll be kind of disappointed. Um, but it's like, what can you do with him? Oop. Let's not bump into the monks, shall we? Because um, there are quite a few different things you could do with him. As he, as he said, anatomy. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he designed it. He, he designed it. Did, yes, good English. He designed, I think, like a helicopter type thing. He did um, anatomy with the Vitruvian Man, all kinds of other things. So, it's kind of. He did a lot of things. There we go. Drop them, put them down. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. I hope so too. Okay.